Hello, this is Geometry, topic 8-4. We're talking about angles on one picture. So we're given a rather complicated picture right here, and we are told to find all 18 angles that are numbered. Well, to do that, let's first start off with what we are given. We're given that HA is 83. We're told that BC is 50. We're told that HD is 135. We're told that GF is 32. And HG is 45. And FE is 55. So we're given lots about the circle, but we're going to need to find the rest of our circle. For instance, I don't know ED, DC, or AB. And I want to know every piece of this circle. Well, to find ED, that's very easily done. Uh, it's this 135 minus these three numbers. So I need to do 135 minus 45 plus... 32 plus 55, and that gives me the measure of arc ED, which is 3. Now to find DC, we are first told that HC is diameter, so that means this is 180. We just do 180 minus 135. That's going to give us DC, which is 45. And now to find AB, well, this again is the diameter, so it's 180 minus the 83 plus the 50, and that's going to give us arc AB, which is 47. So now we know all of the outside pieces. Uh, we'll be able to figure out all of our interior and exterior angles. So starting off with measure of angle 1. Well, it's an exterior angle. So this is going to be 1 half the measure of uh, the, the difference of our two arcs because it's external. Well, our two arcs are the arcs created here, which is 47. And up here, which is HD, which is 135. So we put that in the calculator. 135 minus 47 divided by 2 gives us 44. And so we're looking at 44 degrees. Okay. Uh, and again, that was um, HD minus AB. One half of that. Well, if we look at the measure of angle 2, well, the measure of angle 2, it's a central angle, which is real simple. Central angle equals the arc. The arc is 47. So it is 47 degrees because we're looking at arc AB. Well, the measure of angle 3, when we take a look at 3, 3 is an interior. That means it's going to be 1 half the sum of some angles of 3. One of them is going to be DC. And the other one is BH. So that would be 1 half. Uh, DC is 45. 
plus BH, that would be 83 plus 47, equals 130. Okay. And this gives us Eighty-seven point five. Well, the measure of angle four. Well, this is on the circle, so it's just going to be one half of the measure of the arc that it goes, which is arc uh, AC. So that would be one half of well, AC would be 47 plus 50 equals 97. And one half of 97 is 48.5. Moving on to arc number five. Sorry, not arc, angle number five. Well, this is an exterior angle. And so it's going to be one half. We're going to be subtracting some arcs. Well, the smaller one is 32. And the bigger one, AD, would be. Uh, 47 plus 50 plus 45, 142, so 142 minus 32, divide that by 2 and we get 55 degrees. Take a look at the measure of angle 6. It's right here. It's on the circle. And so it's going to be 1 half of EC. Which is 1 half of 3 and 45 make 48. Equals 24 degrees. Uh, they start putting these in a little bit smaller boxes, so uh, I'm going to have to compress a little bit, but the measure of angle 7 is an exterior angle. And so we're going to be subtracting ED from BH. That means one half of, well, BH would be 83 plus 47, which is 130. ED would be 3. So 130 minus 3, divide that by 2, we get 63.5. Right, angle 8 is inside, so we're going to be adding arcs. So first off, we're looking at, uh, for the measure of angle 8, we're looking at FE. And uh, HD, but that's going to be more than 180, so we're going to say HAB. So 1 half, uh, FE was 53, no, 55. plus all of this, that would be 83 plus 47 plus 50 plus 45 is 225. And if we do all that, that just gives us uh, 280 divided by 2 
is 140. Now take a look at the measure of angle 9. It's also interior, so we're looking at adding arcs. That would be BC with um, HD. Well, BC we know is 50, and HD we know is 135. So 50 plus 135 divided by 2 is 92.5. Moving on to uh, angle number 10, and uh, my picture's going to be coming out, so we're going to have to um, go be moving back and forth. The measure of angle 10 is also an interior angle, so we're looking at one half the addition of arcs, so 10 would be HA, and uh, CG. That's one half. HA is 85. And CG would be 45 plus 3 plus 55 plus 32 is 135. So 85 plus 135 divided by 2 is 71.5. Measure of angle 11, that's also an interior angle. So it's one half the addition of some arcs. So we're looking at HG. And AE. Uh, well that may be more than 180, so I'm going to call it ACE. Just to be on the safe side. So one half HG is 45. And ACE would be the 47 plus the 50 plus the 45 plus the 3 equals 105. So it's not a major arc, so I don't need the C. Just AE. So 45 plus 105 divided by 2 makes for 75 degrees. The measure of angle 12, also interior. We're looking at one half of AC and HG. So that's one half AC would be 47 plus 50 is 97 plus HG is 45. So 97 plus 45, divide that by 2, we get 71 degrees. Now for the measure of angle 13, it's an interior angle. So we're at 1 half the addition of two arcs. Those arcs would be GE and HA which is one half well GE would be 32 plus 55 is 87 and HA is 83 87 plus 83 Divide that by 2, and we get 85. Measure of angle 14, well, that's a central angle. So it's just going to be the measure of BC. Notice angle 14 is a central angle. And so it's just going to be the equal to the measure of BC, which is 50. Now the measure of angle 15, 
that's on the circle. It's going to be one half the measure of F B. And that looks to be more than 180, so we're going to call it F H B. So that's one half to find F H B. Well, I need to do 32 plus 45 plus 83 plus 47. FHB, that would be 207. And 207 divided by 2 is 103.5. Measure of angle 16. <clears throat> right, well, the measure of angle 16 is on the circle. So it's going to be one half G H. Which is one half of 45, which is 22.5. The measure of angle 17, well that is a central angle. So it's going to be equal to HA. Which is 83 degrees. And the measure of angle 18, that is an interior angle. So it's one half the addition of some arcs. So we look over here at 18, we're looking at FH or HF. And ED. Well, HF would be 45 plus 32, which is 77, plus ED is 3, 77 plus 3 is 80, divided by 2 is 40. So, lots of angles, lots of work, um, all crammed into a little bitty space. Now. Um, I wrote the arcs in here to help you understand where the answers came from. So you can look back at this and see where the answers came from. Uh, you don't need to write the arcs. You can just go with the numbers uh, and use that to show your work. That will give you a little bit, of, a little bit less handwriting for 8-4. Uh, there are other ways that we could have done this. Once we found some key angles, we could have used triangles to figure out some of these angles. Um, we could have used uh, two angles for my linear pair, so subtract from 180. Um, I don't care how you get the angles, as long as it is mathematically correct and you get the right answer, which for the most part goes back to using your angle types and formulas. Uh, you may want to go back to 8-2 uh, and look at your formulas. I'm going to go ahead and put that piece of paper right here so you can see. Uh, these four formulas are the formulas that you're going to be using the entire time. Whether it's a central angle, on the circle, inside the circle, or outside the circle, these are your formulas. Good luck on your assignment. Have a good day.